So I found the written pattern to this old um, Christmas stocking. It's called the Kris Kringle and it's a knitting pattern. I don't know what year it was published, but you can kind of tell that it's, it's a little bit older pattern. So I got this pattern from my grandmother and she had made my family all of these stockings. It must have come as a kit um, because there is a like a chart there and on this front part it does say the kit contains three and a half ounces of 100% virgin wool knitting worsted sufficient French Angora yarn. So it must have been a kit. Um, I'm going to make one of these for my nephew. I made one for my husband and I've made one for my niece. I have not knitted in probably two years, at least not knitted a project this size. So this will be interesting. Um, but I thought I would show you my progress along the way. So here is what we are going to attempt to make. And fingers crossed, I can do it. Hi everyone, I thought I'd give you an update. So here's update number one on the Kris Kringle stocking. I have worked a bunch of rows in this white and then I've just started the green down here. So we're working from the top down in the stocking. So eventually we'll seam it up and I'll embroider my nephew's name up here and the rest of the stocking will fall like this. So if you can see the pattern, there's the pattern so far. We've got the white here, green here. I'm going to start the stocking on the next row and just keep working on down. So I'll be back to give you update number two. So you can see I've made a little bit of progress here. I've got his little hat on and some, um, some of his fuzzy little hair and I'm just working on his beard here. Um, it's coming along. As you can see, the back is an absolute disaster. And I've only been working on this for about oh, I don't know, maybe like two or three weeks. I haven't had a lot of time um, I have a full-time job, so it's hard for me to find time to get uh, crocheting and knitting and things like that. So I do it when I have time. Um, I'm hoping to get a little bit more done, and then I have to work on the gusset and the heel, which I am dreading because I have not knitted a, um, a stocking or a sock in quite some time. So we'll see how that goes. On we go. Okay, so a few weeks later, maybe longer, don't want to talk about that. I have completed the entire front part of the stocking. I am working right now on this front part here. I just have two more rows to go. I have my instep, or that's the instep. Here is the two sections that I have on some uh, stitch holders 
and I will put these stitches onto double point needles and work up the heel, work down to here, and then work in the round as knitting goes to form the very bottom, the toe part of the stocking. Then we just seam up this back. I will write embroider the name across the top, add some little, oh, I don't know, maybe bells or something here, and maybe a little ornament at the bottom of the toes. But I am hoping to get this done by Thanksgiving. Today is November 23rd, so I have a little bit more work to do, but I'm hopeful. So far, it's coming along. I'm a little nervous about this heel. Have not done double point knitting in a few years, uh, nor have I done a stocking or a sock knitted in a few years. So I'm a little nervous, but so far so good. Okay, well, I didn't get this done by Thanksgiving, but I did start the heel. And you can see here it's shaping up. I just have to knit all the way to get to this length and then I will finish off with the toe. But so far, pretty, pretty cute, right? And I actually managed to do this. Can't believe it, I was a little nervous, more than a little nervous. Did not get it done by Thanksgiving, kind of a bummer, but it'll be done in the next day or so. Yay! almost done so I've got the little very very end of the stocking left to do just the little toes right there I have done the instep here and then the little ankle the heel ankle foot here of course I've got this all done up here and you can see the back you still have to sew it together so start working in the round when you do the heel. And when I'm done, I will sew that together. And I don't know if you can see, my stitching here is a little bit smaller than it is on here. And that is because I did not have the same size double pointed needles as the needles that I were was using for this main um, back and forth part at the top. Once I started working in the round and I needed my four double pointed needles, I had to switch out and I didn't have the exact same size, which is fine. It's, you know, it's not super noticeable. Um, when you're working in the round, your stitching tends to be tighter anyway. So it's fine, I am fine with it. Um, I was really nervous about doing this, the, the working in the round and the double point needles and all that fun stuff, but these, uh, the, the pattern, the written pattern is actually really, really helpful. It's, it's well, it's well written, um, you know, I don't know where the Kris Kringle pattern from way back when, and of course here's the, the cover of it. Um, it's a Columbia Minerva Kris Kringle stocking kit and it came with at one point the yarn that you needed the little bells that you put at the top here and at the bottom now I'm going to just put some sort of I don't know charm or ornament or something down at the bottom and I do have little bells that I will put on the top here um, so I've obviously this is an old pattern um, that I got from my grandmother and so she had already used all the yarn and the bells that it had come with and in fact she made these for everybody in our family so I am just sort of passing down the tradition I have made one for my niece about two maybe three years ago now and now I've got another one to make for my new little nephew um, so that's what I'm doing here and so far it's turned out much better than I thought after not having done one for quite a while and not having knit for quite a while. So almost done. Next time I'm on video you will see the 
final project. Woohoo! So here it is. I have finished it at last. Put the bells on. Got a little Santa charm at the bottom. Seamed everything up. Got some more bells at the back. Now you can see I've embroidered his name and I started with the N and I tried to center it as best as I could to make sure that I had enough room going around. And I think it came out really cute. I am super, super happy with this. Like I said, I was really kind of nervous about doing the heel and the gusset and using the double point needles. I haven't done that in quite a while. So there we go, the Kris Kringle stocking kit. It is a success. I'm going to see little Henry on Saturday, so in two days. And it is December 1st, so a week, almost a week after Thanksgiving, a little bit later than what I had anticipated, but he will have it in plenty of time for Christmas, and Santa will have something to put all of his little presents in. So I hope you guys like this video. Thank you so much for watching and taking this little uh, journey with me, the Kris Kringle stocking kit journey. If you like this video, please like, share, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Have a great week. See you next time. Happy knitting. Bye.